everybody panic. The Nintendo Switch lost the holiday sale season. Oh no, Nintendo, how could you? Oh no. Well, all right. <laughs> Let's let's dial it back a bit. So we have some information on the November MPD. It technically releases next week. So we might have another video on this with exact numbers and more data. But it appears Nintendo Switch fell to the number three spot this holiday season, or at least November. Uh, here's what we know. I'm going to read this. This comes from Reset Era. Uh, the report itself comes from... Uh, Mizu Securities Equity Research, uh, they send out a monthly update on U.S. and Japan console game sales to their clients, uh, and this person at Reset Era could not publish the actual report because that would be a breach of contract, but they did give some information, and here's what he says, uh, and by the way, this company uses the MPD numbers, uh, so the MPD numbers usually get passed around before they become public, uh, so here's, here's what this user on Reset Era said, Game hardware, including the SNES Classic, etc., sales volume in the U.S. was up 44% in November. And that's a cumulative April through November, fiscal 13, 18, blah, 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 blah. We're up 38%. Or fiscal year 3. Sorry. A lot, a lot of information to dissect here. Uh, it says, while software sales were up 2%, uh, the PlayStation 4 came out on top for hardware sales, with a likely large impact from Black Friday sales. Again, you can get a PlayStation 4 for 200 and under on uh, Black Friday. Uh, the Xbox One, which launched the new high-spec X console, came in second. Both consoles saw roughly a 40% growth year-on-year. Year. Just as an FYI, because we know what the sales of the systems were last November... Uh, that means PlayStation 4 sold roughly 1.5 million units in the U.S. in November. Just just to kind of give you uh, where the top dog was at there. Uh, moving on, the Switch saw a large increase in sales volume in comparison to October, but we still sense that the trends are slowing down. We do not explicitly forecast monthly sales volumes in each region, but we have the impression that the U.S. sales volume for the Switch in November was within expectations. Nintendo's hardware sales tend to see strong trends in December, thanks to a seasonal demand, and thus we believe the sales will grow month on month in December. And then, as a little side note to this, Call of Duty World War II was the most popular game sold uh, in November, and it was the number one seller, and the PlayStation 4 version of it was the top selling one. Xbox One second, no surprise, PCs usually nowhere near that, those kind of sales. And the second best selling game was Super Mario Odyssey, which obviously we know is a Switch exclusive. Uh, and they said there's no specific numbers in the update, but the included fingers seem to show uh, PlayStation 4 uh, was about 2 to 1 to Switch, and Xbox One was marginally maybe 10% less than PlayStation 4. So PlayStation 4 sold 1.5 million, uh, maybe, you know, Xbox sold 1.4 million or so. Again, they did launch new hardware this holiday, uh, and then that's about twice as much as Switch. Uh, so if you put that in perspective, Switch sold, you know, roughly 700, 800,000 units. Uh, so is that a bad thing? Is it a bad thing that Switch lost to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One so handily? Uh, no. I don't actually put a lot of stock in this, and there's a few reasons. One, Switch would have been the most expensive base model out there on the market this holiday. You had Xbox One S and the base Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Slim all selling at $200 or less coming with games packaged in uh, for most of November, not just during Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all this stuff, but most of November that seemed to be the case. A lot of companies were discounting these platforms a week before Black Friday, uh, whereas Switch did not come with a game unless you bought a more expensive pack like the Splatoon, the Splatoon 2 or the Mario pack out at like Walmart or something, which is like 380 bucks. Uh, and I, I have to admit, when I went out, it was not impossible to find that bundle. Uh, every Walmart I went to had the Splatoon 2 bundle in stock. Uh, throughout the entire holiday season, and I went to four different ones. So that should give you an idea that people were not really all too keen on spending $380 on a Nintendo Switch. But 
I did see a lot of the $300 units sell out. Now, you could say, well, Nintendo, they must be underperforming. They couldn't even sell over a million units in their first holiday period. Well, they didn't launch now. Uh, Xbox was likely helped, not just because of the cheaper the cheaper Xbox One S. I actually think this indicates that the Xbox One X had a pretty strong start out the gate. There's usually a lot of early adapters, and I wouldn't even be surprised if around 1 million people picked up the Xbox One X during launch in November. Uh, it, it's just a number that makes sense to me, and I know it's not that hard to get your hands on an Xbox One X. There are tons of stores that still have more of them, and Microsoft over-delivered for demand on the Xbox One X, but... I mean, the sales don't lie. The Xbox One had a nice bounce back this holiday. Uh, and I'm, I'm not too concerned that Switch is behind all of this. Uh, as I said, no bundled in games for the base price. Uh, and $300 is a lot to swallow uh, for what some people might perceive as a handheld system. Uh, we saw this issue with the pricing actually on the 3DS too. Uh, but the big note is, is that the sales practically doubled for Switch from October to November, and Nintendo's sales trends kind of show that there's going to be even more units selling in December. In fact, Nintendo Switch may even be likely to crack a million in sales this month, uh, because unlike the other platforms where the prices go back up, that, that makes Switch more price competitive after the sales season, and people start to do all their last-minute shopping for the holidays. And again, I see an increase in sales. Now, Switch maintained its sales lead in Japan, you know, every single week in November and, and so far in December. So um, this is just mostly a U.S. thing. But yes, Nintendo Switch was in third place. Fourth place was the SNES Classic Edition. We don't have any specific numbers for it, but it was suggested in this report that the SNES Classic was behind the Switch, which makes sense. Uh, they probably didn't get 700,000 SNES Classics out there in November. Um, so... Yeah, I the I was asked a lot, not just by one particular person, but I, I saw this question happen um, probably a dozen or so times uh, over the past three weeks, where a lot of you guys asked me who do I, who did I think was going to win the holiday season, and obviously if we're just talking about the month of November, PlayStation Four and Xbox were big winners here. Uh, Switch kind of maybe underperformed uh, for what some of you guys might have expected. Then again, uh, they are saying that Switch actually met expectations for sales this holiday. And maybe that, that that's... I feel like this is good. Uh, believe it or not, Switch being in the position it is, I think is good. Even getting trounced by Xbox One, I don't think this is a big deal. We're talking about two platforms that launched at $400 plus years ago that are now half off. Plus, we have the, a brand new platform launch in Xbox One X. And Nintendo Switch is a brand new product that came out this year that doesn't have any discounts yet. And by next holiday, I guarantee, bare minimum, they're going to be able to be like, look, during the holidays, you can buy a Switch for $300 and get a game, or maybe two games, or maybe three games, or maybe Nintendo will knock 50 bucks off the price, you know, for Black Friday. Uh, this, to me, just bodes well, because the Switch starting at a price point that was lower than those consoles in the first place, yes, obviously the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox One X, they're also going to continue to get cheaper as the years move forward, um, and that's always going to present a problem. Uh, this is always going to be a unique problem for Nintendo, because they launched this console mid-generation. Uh, while other companies were doing mid-generation refreshes, Nintendo's like, hey, look, we're going to give you a whole brand new platform because the Wii U is just not selling. Uh, and it's just an interesting perspective to see what's going to happen. I, I don't think this means anything for the Switch's sales. The Switch's sales have been highly consistent month to month to month, and I don't think that's going to change. I think what we see here with the Switch, now that Nintendo has enough units out there to meet demand, is that we're seeing a leveling off period where it might still increase in December and it's obviously going to have a drop off in January, but that there's this consistent 200 to 300,000 unit mark that Nintendo is going to be able to sell every single month. And I feel like that's more important than winning the holiday season. Like, why is PlayStation 4 so dominant in the sales charts every single year? It's not because they win the holiday, which they normally do, but it's because they usually win the sales every single month. They consistently sell 200 to 300, sometimes 400,000 units every single month. So if Nintendo can sit in that range every single month, they're going to be fine. So this isn't a panic button. This isn't me talking about how I'm worried about Nintendo. In fact, 
I think this is pretty good. For their very first holiday season, and it wasn't a launch during the holiday. Like, if they had launched in the holiday, Nintendo would have shattered it. Uh, they sold $2.7 million uh, back during launch month. If they had launched in November, God, you're talking about if they had enough units, they could have broke launch records. They could have sold three, four, five million of these things. But that's not what happened. So without early adopters, without a super price cut, you're looking at you know people being willing to spend $300 on a non-discounted item during the holidays and for that 700,000 units roughly we'll get exact numbers next week i'm good with that i'm, I'm pretty pretty content uh with those figures uh and the fact that the analyst groups here think that hey you know what like nintendo's gonna sell even more in december because they usually sell more in december than november uh that's a good sign for switch as well it means that they see the growth continuing uh they just see that you know the rapid fire like if anyone was expecting switch to be like sell 1.5 or 2 million units or sell every single unit possible during the holidays uh they were saying people who anyone who thought that was going to happen probably were over projecting uh, the value of a $300 system with no discounts. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. You guys let me know what you think. Obviously, we've had a pretty eventful week with the announcement of Mega Man 11. Uh, and that's not even like the biggest announcement, right? We got Bayonetta 3 announced at the Game Awards. The Breath of the Wild DLC just came out. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a conversation on that coming up. I might be bringing back Zelda Inquiries just so I can get some Zelda experts on the panel uh, and talk at length about um, our experiences with that DLC and whether or not we feel like it was, you know, one worth the wait, two worth the money, um, and three, you know, just in general how we feel about some of the new additions. And yes, I am going to warn, and I'll warn this when we release Zelda Inquiries, that uh, it is going to contain spoilers because we are literally going to be talking about everything to do with the, the DLC pack, the Champion's Ballad, as it were. Uh, so yeah. You guys let me know what you think about this news, about the MPD, and about the Switch's sales. Are you happy with it? Are you not happy with it? Does it not really matter because none of this money goes to our pockets? Um, it's all about perceptions. Uh, for us as gamers, what we have to deal with is perceptions. And is this a good perception for Switch? Or are a lot of fans going to be like, hey, look, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 rocking. Look at Switch. It, it lost. It lost. It lost. Even though it's won like six of the last eight months. Anyways. I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yes.